It was a cool summer evening in the sleepy town of Brownstone when it was penetrated by terror. Frederick Hudson was found dead in his bedroom, brutally murdered and violated. With no leads or witnesses, the local authorities and the town were at a complete loss. Frederick Hudson, a local mechanic known as Freddy by his friends and family, was peacefully sleeping one evening while his wife and kids were out seeing a movie. No one could have seen the horror that was sneaking up from behind. When I arrived on the scene, paramedics were already upstairs. Uh, no one really told me what I was going to find because everyone was pretty much speechless. I was not prepared for what I saw that evening. The murderer snuck through the back door. It was unlocked, which was common in Brownstone. The murderer picked up the third place youth karate trophy off the mantle, crept up the stairs, and snuck into the master bedroom where Frederick was sleeping. The murderer smashed Freddy six times in the head. What happened next would never be forgotten. We found the victim face down on the bed. He had been bludgeoned in the back of the skull. We found the weapon, a third place youth karate trophy, inserted forcefully into his anal cavity. The victim arrived in an unusual position with an object protruding from his rectum. Normally, the average human rectum is the size of a paper towel roll, but given the proper amount of lubrication, it can accommodate all kinds of objects. I've seen many things inside the human body. This one, though, was new. Near the back door, we did find a piece of plastic that we have determined that the murderer ran out in such a pace that he must have clipped himself by the door. The piece of plastic we assumed was from a shoe, but with the little, with the little tiny piece we had, we really had nothing to go off of. The police investigated friends and family and why the trophy was used in such a fashion. This event has just been so difficult to handle. He was a good man, a proud man. And to have him be struck down with a third place youth karate trophy, and then to have his secret place violated with that little golden foot. It, it, it's left a gaping hole in my life. Police interviewed the participants and families of the All Brownstone Youth Karate Tournament. I knew Freddy. He was an outstanding member of the community. And I went to every single one of those karate tournaments. He was beaming about that time third place trophy. He put it right on the mantle next to the Christmas pictures and the precious moments figurines. We had no leads uh, from the victim on why someone would create such a brutal attack. The case was going cold. But finally, there was a crack in the case by the most unexpected circumstances. Uh, I've seen that one piece of evidence, uh, uh, a piece of a plastic, and I know that that evidence uh, was, was, was from that, that whole thing where that fella had the, had the trophy like, oh my goodness, just put, put inside him, I guess. I know that that piece of plastic come from a limited edition Johnny Parakeet Margarita Mix Croc. I know that that is what that is from. We contacted the company that made the special edition Johnny Parakeet Crocs. Only three of them were made, and lo and behold, one of them was shipped to Brownstone Township. And we looked up the name, and it was to a Biff Cobb Jr. Biff? I mean, he's just a big macho man, you know the kind. He, he was also one of the parents that would take a real pride in their kid fighting in these karate tournaments. The tournament came to a close, and Fred, Freddy's son won third place. Biff was mighty angry about that third place. Mrs. Starr came up and actually filed a report with us. Apparently there was a confrontation between Mr. Cobb 
And Mr. Hudson? He said, I'm going to take that trophy and shove it right up your ass. They didn't pay it no mind. None of us did. And that's all I can think about. Biff Cobb Jr. was arrested and convicted of first degree murder. He is currently serving a life sentence with no possibility of parole. They, they, they told me that I, I helped solve the case of that, that man with the, with the ass trophy. The, the, the detectives asked me, you know, how did you do that? Oh, I don't know. I, I guess it pays to, to, to be a, a fan of uh, Johnny Parakeet. Nothing could make up for what Biff did to my brother and his poor dirt road. I'm so glad that they caught the perpetrator. No man deserves to die like that. With a tiny, tiny golden man shoved, shoved in his rusty starfish. So now, you've heard one of the strangest tales ever featured on Gumshoe Diaries. As always, remember to keep your back doors locked up tight because you never know is going to come unexpectedly. Gonna get a tan, gonna have some fun. So grab your wieners, grab, grab your, your buns. buns. Open a cold one, turn the music loud. But the party won't start till the wieners come out. Do, Do it all, all across, across the, the nation. nation. Having hot dogs, dogs on, on vacation, vacation. All, All across, across the, the nation, nation.